When we have a set resistance or support level from the past, it often remains a significant barrier or support in the future. As seen in the example, the price touched this level twice, and on the second touch, we observe a toppy candle. A toppy candle typically has a thin body and wicks, especially above the resistance. The more candles like this we see at resistance or support, the more reliable the signal. At this point, we look for signs of rejection and a potential reversal. Past resistance or support levels offer valuable evidence of where buyers or sellers were previously active and are likely to be again. In the given chart, the resistance level served as a point where sellers prevented the price from rising above, consistently placing their sell orders at this level. This behavior is visually apparent in the form of wicks on the chart. The more times the price touches a resistance or support level, the greater the likelihood that it will eventually break through. This is because, over time, sellers or buyers tend to exhaust their efforts. It's akin to chopping down a tree, you're uncertain when it will finally give way and fall. Similarly, with resistance and support levels, we can't predict when the next touch will push it entirely through. One challenge of playing these rejections is the uncertainty of how far the price will pull back from the resistance or support. The general rule is that on the third touch of a significant level, there's often a follow-through beyond that level. Examining the example above, the price did experience rejection in the short term, but there's a possibility that it could break through to higher levels later on. This underlines the importance of monitoring price action and considering potential breakthroughs after multiple touches of a crucial level. The riskier entry for this trade would be at the first touch of the support line. A safer entry point would be the actual rejection of the support. In the example above, this rejection is indicated by a wick forming a higher low and subsequent upward movement in the following candles. This approach emphasizes waiting for confirmation and a more stable indication of a potential upward movement. Placing the stop loss is crucial, and it's typically recommended to position it below support for long trades or above resistance for short trades. The amount that traders are willing to risk should be determined based on their assessment of potential profits. This aligns with the principle of balancing risk and reward in trading decisions. For a short-term exit, consider exiting at the first consolidation zone or a 50% retracement of the prior move. The mid-term exit strategy involves aiming for a 100% retracement of the preceding move. As for the long-term exit, it may be prudent to exit when there's a break to new highs and a continuation of the trend. These exit points cater to different time frames and provide strategic guidelines for traders with varying trading preferences. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. If you're hungry for more trading insights and strategies, hit that subscribe button now. Stay tuned because I'll be back with another trading strategy video soon. Have an awesome day and happy trading.